Thursday stream. And after a uh, one week break, two week break for poker, something like that, we're back, baby, with Crusader Kings 3. We're continuing our game where we started as Gotland, which has been oh so much fun. And one of the things I really like about Crusader Kings is if you've missed previous stuff, it's kind of okay because it's all like at any given point. It's like a fresh start. I think because um, like what I'm talking about in, in Crusader Kings, when you start playing a fresh brand new game, I mean, you're still coming in sort of like in the middle of history, right? A family that might already exist with some amount of land. And so every time you sit down and reload the save, it's sort of the same situation. We're coming into a family with a certain amount of land. In this case, it's a pretty excellent family. Our Petroling dynasty is going strong. We started as the island of Gotland, which is not a particularly strong start. In fact, it is one of the weakest starts. It's still, it still suffers from the fact that it's got a terrible... Um, um, duchy. It's got a duchy of a single county, which is pretty bad, but we've embiggened ourselves uh, considerably in that time, and we are going to try to get a certain, certain something here. We're going to try to see if we can secure the High Kingdom of the North Seas. To do that, we do need to hold the Kingdom of... Well, that's Norway. I don't, I don't know what, what that's written in, but because of our culture or whatever, this is the Kingdom of Norway. Uh, good news, we already have the Kingdom of Norway. We also need to hold the Kingdom of Denmark. Good news! We already hold the Kingdom of Denmark. We also have to, hold, to get the Kingdom of England. Alright, we have to do that still. But then also we have to hold all those things for 30 damn years. And then apparently we have to do Dane Law. England must be departitioned. I don't even know what that does. We're gonna have to figure that out afterwards. So it might be something we can do. It might not be something we can do. We'll try to figure it out as we go. Do, 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 do. We got some whiskey and chocolate. Thank you. Very, oops, I don't have the right page open. One second. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ah, there we go. We got some whiskey and chocolate coming in from Cool Man Nachos. Yeah, we were talking about before the stream about uh, bingo cards and um, drinking games and stuff like that. Uh, and yes, I did see that earlier, your joke there, Cool Man. What kind of concert only costs 45 cents? A 50 cent concert featuring Nickelback. And I did see your six-month gift sub to Ulther. That was really amazing. Um, and my parents have also both gotten the, uh, the COVID-19 vaccine at this point. So that's got to feel good, right, when, you're, when your folks have gotten that? I haven't yet, but my parents are vaccinated, and that's, uh, that makes me pretty pleased. Do, do, do. Uh, I think you do have to have the 30 years with a single ruler, yeah. I think a single ruler has to hold them for 30 years. Um... So we're gonna, we've got to have that to deal with. So really what we're looking for is, is, is some war against England um, to do that. And yeah, I actually don't know exactly what this means. The Dane Law currently has de jure counties. And England must be departitioned first. So the Dane Law over here presumably is holding on to some stuff. And maybe we got to kick them out of that. That may be the issue. So we got to we'll go to war with England first so that we can have the kingdom. And then maybe boot these guys out. Um, getting the kingdom of England is going to be the most important thing um, to start that timer. Yeah, to start that timer. Um, we are only 23 years old, though. So lifespan... Barring an unnatural death, which of course is pretty typical in CK3, um, our lifespan should be sufficient to pull it off, assuming we get the Kingdom of England relatively soon. So we'll see how that goes. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, that was the hardest part when you did it. What, holding it for 30 years? Or the departitioned? But I think, I think that means we have to boot these guys out, so we'll see about that. Um, the other thing is that currently we, we are running on elective succession laws. Um, so there's an election for... Uh, the the inheritance and right now the inheritance of the kingdom would not go within our family interestingly enough it is going to our cousin but it's not someone of our dynasty so if we were to die now big problems would be had so we would like to resolve some of the succession issues going right now we our candidate is older petroling here just on the basis that he's an adult and there's not a whole lot of other adults kicking around and so we thought it might be easiest to get him in there they still consider him to be young. We still have a minus 10 uh, malice because of the youth. We also have another minus 10 as a result of the fact that um, he is, they say, spoiled and and something. Um, and is likely, yeah, unproven and spoiled. Um, it's hard to find a page for CK3 that explains these things. But it looks like, assuming it's exactly the same as CK2, um, giving him land or giving him a seat on our council would remove that malice. Um, he's got kind of shit stats. They're actually all single digit stats. Not really one on the council, but I figured we'd give him a chunk of land and that might do it. Yeah, also he's evil, but you know, who isn't? We think it's probably from his callous trait. Mm -hmm. We'll see. 
Every time says Quill says Kingdom, you drink. Ah! Ah! Oh man, that would be a challenging one. So I was wondering about just giving him Lodos over here, which we recently acquired. Um, it's not a terribly valuable place. And then that might help secure. Just in case, in case we suddenly die, which would be bad. I mean, ideally, we'd much prefer someone else, right? Maybe one of our children. We our current laws, we can't um we can't elect um women because I think it's still male preferred. So we can't we can't I think we maybe we can put them up as a candidate, but it's really hard to get them through. I think there's a big malice. So realistically it would be maybe one of our sons, which wouldn't be bad. Um but they're so they're they're so young right now that there'd be a tremendous malice. So maybe what we do is we put forward odor currently and then when our children come of age we switch our candidate and hope that we can we can do that. Mm-hmm. Oh someone in Discord was figuring out. Oh okay well can't see. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to check that right now, but so I think we give them uh, we give them Lodos here The thing is I can't actually grant it to them right now And the reason is I believe because he's not in our court. So this is my brother here um, I can't do it. I can invite them to the court. I see no reason why we shouldn't just do that I can't I don't think I can even give him a counselor position because he's not in our court So we'll invite him to the court. I'll unpause presumably he will accept There you go Said he arrived and then left, but I can grant him a title now. So I don't know. Uh. All right, Lotus is the name of the city, so it's it's uh Vaster Gotland is what we have to give him. All right. We'll give him Vaster Gotland. Grant him that title. And I can negotiate an alliance with him, which actually seems like a good idea. We'll go ahead and negotiate the alliance. But now if we check the election on this guy, he no longer has the minus 10. Excellent. We still, we're still not quite there. Um, I don't know when the he is too young will go away. I don't know if that's a, a thing that fades by like by an extra one every year or if it's when he turns 20 or 25 or 30, it just goes away completely. Um, but it's a little bit closer. Mm hmm. Well, we were going to try to murder the other candidate by having him get murdered by the Pope. But we were running into an issue where no one was raising any troops against him. We we're sending him all over the place to raid. And no one was doing shit about it. So we're just going to bring him home now. He's got 30 of 30. Um, and we'll bring him home. Then maybe we'll try again afterwards. But yeah, you think it goes away when he comes of age. He's 19, though. He should already be of age. So he's still got the minus 10. So I, I suspect if he was a child, so if he was under 16, it would be a greater malice. But maybe until he turns 20 or turns 25, there's something else. The other thing is, yes, the money. We've got a whole heck of a lot of money. Part of the reason I think we were sitting on it is because we were having some scary times with maybe some factions and things like that. Um, and we thought we may need some cash for emergency mercs. I still don't want to spend too much, especially if we're going to be warring with England. And we are going to do that fairly soon. In fact, we might just wait until these troops are home, disband them, and then go to war with England immediately. I don't know. Um, but... I will spend some money, and I will look at doing that, improving some of our terrain over here. Um, Visby over here is our capital. It can't be improved any further. Everything is maxed out based on our current um, our, our, our current technology. Um, the next thing over here is Sigtuna in terms of like value from taxes. I think we're going to um, improve this. The Duchy of Upland is probably one we're going to try to keep under our control. Right now, we actually only control one of the counties within this duchy. It's the duchy, I think, is these three plus this island over here. And I think I think I was maybe confused about some of the land. We may have accidentally given one of those counties away at some point, or we weren't sure what we're keeping. I'm not, I'm not sure what the deal was. So I will probably work towards regaining these counties for myself. Um... As, as we sort of cycle and reorganize over here. I mean, right now we're fine, our domain limit. I mean, we were at six of six until I gave this province away. Um, and we'll do that. Is one of the provinces named kind of? I think so. I don't remember where it is, but I, I, I think so. But um, Sigtuna, which is the capital of Upland over here, does definitely have some improvements we can do. We can upgrade the, uh, the tribal hold, but we can build more buildings. So I think we're going to do that. Um, we'll be looking for things that give us more levies, more tax dollars, all those things. Um, our control is fine. Yeah, it's 100, so I'm not really worried about the gathering halls so much. I think, I mean, we've got three slots. We'll be able to build all three of these things. So um, maybe I'll build the war camps first because it'll give us more levies and the plus one knights, which are pretty good. 
So we'll do that. Done, done, done. Um, and then, do I want to build in some of these other places? I mean, it wouldn't be a terrible idea just on the basis that um, our lands will be better. We may not hold these directly long term, but it still might not be a bad idea. Uh, if nothing else, it might be a good idea to build more of these longhouses. Well, we already have the base one. We could maybe upgrade this one, but we could maybe build more for more control. What is this? Dainverk. It's whiskey. So you have a special building with more defender advantage over here. That's quite interesting. We got two coming in back to back with that. We've got uh, Sviplep. Thank you very much for that. Oh, c'est en français. Je suis désolé. Uh, J'ai raté votre anniversaire. Uh, so here's a nice and mature first. So mature. 69. Nice. Uh, it's your first time donation for your rating fleet. Best parts are when you read aloud puns and French. So now all we need are French puns, mon capitaine. My, there's a French joke. It's a little too long. I can't, I can't remember the whole, the whole thing. And I don't want to take up too much stream time for it. Um, but it's a joke about, about, um, some cats. And the, the, the punchline is like, uh, trois cats sank. It was like, so three cats sank into the sea. It's, it's probably my favorite Franglish pun joke, right? It's, it's like you have to be bilingual for it to really work, but it's always been one of my favorites. Uh, so thank you very much for that, uh, Sviplep. And Furious George, thank you as well. Glad to see you back. Will, guess what? I'm gonna get my COVID shot today. Hey, congratulations. Yeah, it's a little like a 789. The pun is that like the French word for four, all, it, so, it sounds like the like a word for, it sounds like cat. It's quatre, but... Uh, feast, maybe. I'm a little worried about the feastings because I'm gluttonous and I want to get fat and die early. So it is good for keeping our relations up, though. I'm going to hold off a little bit right now, but we might come back. So how, how do people feel about spending more money on more of our land? If we're not spending on our land, what else are we going to spend it on? Um, our men at arms are maintained via prestige, not cash. I think what we'll probably do is we're going to war England. We're going to get some mercs. Maybe a couple of mercs. Maybe we'll just burn some money on mercs. I don't know. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Murder, incest, heresy. Bienvenue au Anjou. <laughs> ah, that's really good. All right. Where are my raiders? All right. Over here. Uh, yeah. The wonder. Now... Can we build one in Visby? No building slot there. I don't think I can upgrade the one in Sigtuna. Um, because of needing tech. It's a thousand, but we need, we need manorialism innovation. So I can't do that either. What is this? Well-known fact, courtiers will scheme and plot. I may be able to use this to my advantage. So our, our current education is set to... Um, uh, intrigue over here, so we're getting intrigue events. We've got intimidation focus. We actually don't need this because um, we. Oh no, we need to get forever infamous. Uh, once we get that, we don't have to worry about dread decay anymore, um, and we can just make sure to you know torture an extra person or two, get us to a hundred dread, and then we can bail out of this. And probably what I suspect we'll do is we'll go to learn and go whole of body because I think it's going to be important for us to live a really long time. If I can keep my courtiers suspicious of each other and distracting and infighting, they'll not have time to scheme against me. Right. Okay. So I can go begin spreading rumors. 87% chance that different people start hating each other. I can sp place spies among them, giving me scheme resistance. I kind of like that idea. Or my courtiers already know not to plot against me. Will give me prestige, which is nice. So the downside with this middle one is we don't get any XP towards our lifestyle. But Court Spies, I think, might be very valuable. Yeah, spend money should build wonders in Gotland. How do we do that? I can't even construct a new holding. We're not allowed to do that. Like, I'm not sure how many options we've got to just spend cash. And again, I, I think it's still pretty valid for us to say we're just going to spend them on mercs. Mm -hmm. You want the Petra? Well, I mean, it's hanging out over here somewhere, right? Or no, has, has it been built yet? In history? I don't remember exactly where it's supposed to be. Yeah, Merc's a good money sink. Levies cost two, so when you go to war, cash flow is all. And that's true, yeah. 
Now we're going to land here with 30 extra gold, which is groovy. We got some bits from uh, Shackle. Thank you very much. And hopefully we get the name some people soon. If you haven't done it already, make sure to hashtag name uh, so that your name will be entered into a draw to be named. Should we name, need to name some bebes and whatnot. All right, we've disbanded our troops. So if we were to go over here and war against King Alfred... It's whiskey and chocolate. So I think we've already done. No, that's right. I think we might be waiting to be able to use the invasion CB, aren't we? Hey, Brightside, hold on one sec. I think, was that our plan? So we need to become exalted among men. And then we can use the invasion CB. Like, I could do, a, like, just, you know, a duchy invasion first, just to start chipping away at things. But the invasion might be better. Now, here's an interesting question. If we... Hang on. First, let me read the uh, whiskey and chocolate from Brightside! Oh, hail and mighty quill 18. Maybe some Isu weapons? Isu weapons? Will help conquer even more land. I've heard apples are supposed to be quite powerful. There's something I'm missing. I have no idea if it's a reference or a pun or whatnot. There's definitely something I'm missing. Yeah, a, a, a Dutch sheet for, for a foothold and to gain troops does sound interesting. Now, um, is this highlighting the du jour? I thought Dane Law had some of the du jour English territory, but this this should be du jour England. And it is definitely showing this part, this part, and this part, right? It's got a separate border. And over here, as well. Because I was just saying, maybe what we do is we war against not England to take English territory. Spend the gold to get some prestige quickly. Um, how would we do that? But yeah, like, if we look here, right, this should be, it's du jour kingdom is now being highlighted. And I don't think the Danelaw controls any of it. If you go for a duchy, is there one that's outside of du jour England? Well, yeah, but the thing is, if I go invasion for England, even though Cornwall over here is within du jour England, I don't think the invasion CB would cover that. Beast hunt, create titles. Well, that's a good point. I could create a bunch of titles for prestige. Well, that's an excellent point. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, because I can totally do that. I'll have to give them away, but that should be fine. In fact, I could create, say, the Duchy of Vastergotland and give it to Chieftain Oder, because he's going to be in there. Yeah, thank you for the reminder. Boom. Um, and now this should be a warning that I've got too many duchies, and it is. And he's a little cranky now, probably. Well, I hold too many duchies and the du jour one. But I will grant you the title of... Is it the Jarldom of Vastergotland here? Yes? Jarldom. Yeah, because it's Chieftain Jarldom. Yeah. Boom. So that fixes that. We're a little close. But, okay, before we do more, I... I don't mind going after here. Cornwall's nicest time of year you could invade. So I think either... No, we're not on the du jour map mode. We can go kingdom... Uh, the thing is, this kingdom uh, map mode over here, I guess would have been a little easier than what I was doing with clicking on England. But yeah, so this this is showing us the same. I don't think the Danelaw controls any of England. So I'm a little confused as to the message and the other thing, but we'll figure that out after. I propose we go after Cornwall. Because we're going to want, like... We need to make sure we can... Well, okay, here's the thing. We don't actually need Cornwall. Because if we invade England, we're clearly going to have enough... Um, we're, we're clearly going to have the title of England, which is all that matters. Still, might be fun. As I say, we can just go counter con conquer county, because it's literally the same as conquer duchy in this. Um, and it will cost us a little less. It's going to cost us 75... Um, prestige to start it but that doesn't actually decrease our fame level right when you gain fame when you gain prestige your fame level goes up when you spend prestige it doesn't go down conquered a whole island to be sure well that certainly be the plan i propose we start the war in cornwall right now and then use this as a way to go 
Dane Law is its own kingdom. It's split from England. Is that the problem? Is it just, do I just have to like eliminate Dane Law? Like as the kingdom? That might be it because it's partitioned. Yeah. That's what that means. Right over here. Now I get it. Okay. So Dane Law controls a bunch of stuff all over. But there's a bit over here of Dane Law which should be part of England. It's not, it doesn't show up as de jure England territory. How do you departition it? I'm, I'm assuming once I control this or both or something, then all of a sudden it's going to give me the option to departition this event. Yeah. So what we really should be doing is we should be warring against Dane Law. I'm not going to use the invasion because I'm going to save that for England. Let's war for this duchy over here, which seems great. It'll give us a foothold that doesn't seem too hard. We can then use this um, from here. We can uh, we can do the the proper invasion of England, and then we can keep for fighting uh, Dane Law. Need Dane Law territory to reform the faith. Oh, and that's true too. All right, I I propose we declare war for uh, the Jarldom of Jorvik over here, and this costs piety as well. Oh, interesting. Why? Because they're the same religion as us? Defender of a city of your faith. Because they're the same faith, it costs us faith, and quite a bit more than prestige would. Okay. Let's go. Um, let's set a rally point uh, over here. I'm going to control click to raise everyone in the same place. Even though it'll cause some supply issues, that's okay. And then we can transfer them over together. Make sure the landing is safe. I'm going to land in the farthest um, south over here. They won't move right away. They won't move until they're fully raised up. We shouldn't need mercs right now. Oh, too late. What is it? Maybe it's better to conquer England or Dane Law might be destroyed. Well, we're okay with Dane Law being destroyed. We have to, It has to be destroyed. For what we're doing... For the... I might be misunderstanding something. Um, it looks like I have to departition it. it. To me, it feels like I have to destroy Dane Law to be able to do this. We don't know for sure properly, but we'll, we'll see. All right. Um, I was going to say, actually, you want to land there because that's where the fort is, but that's okay. So what we're going to do is I'll, I'll arrive here. I'll split the army in two. I don't want to split too far down. Although we are considerably stronger here. We actually probably do have a fair bit to spare. Are you really going to... I'm not skipping any forts. I suppose I could put you to sea and then land you back. You know what? Screw you. You can you can lose 200 people or three, nearly 300 people. I don't care anymore. I'm going to take Thriving and Chaos. I don't think we're going to take advantage of this because we're not really looking to get stressed. I'm not trying to recreate any particular invasion, although that might happen sort of incidentally over here. It's whiskey. And Someone chocolate. sieged out Arhus and my brother. Oh, that's interesting. I have a brother that's ruling over here. No, you were just you were just chilling. You might have just been a guest over here. Unface, hey, thank you very much. I know this is whiskey and chocolate fun, but have you ever tried the Austrian Empire Navy rum? No. I mean, it's one of the best rums available, and I think you'd like that. Keep going. Thanks for many hours of entertainment here or on YouTube. Thank you very much, Unface. Um, I actually don't drink a lot of rum, and I, I'm i pretty sure I've never seen the Austrian Navy rum. But I'll keep an eye on it for it. Next time I go to the liquor store, I'll see if that's a thing. It might be something you have to special order, or I would have to special order. Um, I know we're not sieging the capital yet, which normally I would like to do, but I felt safe to like land in the south like this. Now, the one thing that'll be annoying is that they suddenly land a ninja invasion on Gotland and then like capture me. I usually sell Tropic in Rome. Yeah. How many troops do I need for this? Um, wait, is this the... Oh, that's levies. Oh, this is not showing me the screen I was thinking of. Yeah, we have 300 people is fine. So I can do like a station besiegers. Um, let me put you out to sea, and then land. If I tell you to do this, this won't count as bypassing anything. There we go. Okay. 
Austria had Adriatic ports before World War One. Whose navy is bigger, Austria or Switzerland? <laughs> yeah, these landlocked countries. So we're gonna wait. Um, you know, what? I'll ransom you now. I know it's not full price, but it's gonna be okay. Uh, I'm gonna wait before I create any more titles. Yeah, I guess I could hold my own feast for uh, for stuff. Let, let's hold my own feast. We don't have any stress or anything, but it will be good for the prestige. Although hunts would be better. Um, do I have hunt on, like, automatic reminder? No. Notify me when hunting is available. Hunting's pretty, like, safe. And a hell of a lot cheaper than a feast. There's, like, three or so nations that are doubly, double landlocked. They're landlocked, and so are all their neighbors. Oh, really? That's interesting. That's actually very interesting. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll spend money to make sure we've got wine. I mean, we've got money. Doesn't Switzerland share a naval border across a lake with one of its neighbors? <laughs> yeah, maybe, right? Um, as opposed to, uh, yeah, so not necessarily sea access, but, all right, Lincolnshire is ours. We'll head to the West Riding. Once we capture the capital here, it should go a lot fa- we should get a lot more war square- war score. There's still no notification in here of, like, hostile sieges, right? So we gotta, like, pay attention to the pop-up here and it can suddenly disappear. I still wish that was something that, uh, was changed. Notable guest. Oh, because you've got a, a claim. Alright. Well, good for you. I say war square, war square. Um, how many were you gonna lose? Yeah, you know what? What's a couple hundred people? Pfft. Completely disposable. That's what they are. Give my regards to my grandma. She lives in East Riding of Yorkshire. Okay. Ah, oh, my wife's pregnant again. Nice. Faction targeting me is disbanded. Nice. Our faction's actually like fine and groovy here. Got some more land. Okay, only 48%. Um, I guess do that. Warriors will be more than happy to make their way to Valhalla. Yeah, but I mean, are they going to get Valhalla if they die from, like, starvation? As opposed to, you know, actual combat? We should be able to get a bunch of war score by kicking these guys' ass. If we can 